I'm going to submit this part of the assignment as a video because I figure I can probably cover more content quickly and share what I feel uh, in regards to this information. So my first week teaching online live was a learning experience. Um, I kept walking away from the podium because I'm a hands-on type person and I found myself bound to a computer while I record so that the voice can actually catch, which is not the norm for me. I like to uh, walk among the students as I, as I speak and I work, and as we do questions, I like to show them and demonstrate to them how to use the information that I'm applying. This also helps them, um, you know, gain attendant, um, keep attention as we are integrate, you know, interacting and discussing and taking questions and whatnot. So how did I incorporate the 60 to 90 minutes of live learning using the course matrix and live lesson template? And did I change anything based on feedback? Well, the first week, like I said, the one thing that I did change is that I used the time uh, to not necessarily lecture, although week one seems like a lecture, because there's so many definitions and based on statistics, um, you're going over, you know, all of the general definitions. What is statistics? How is this course divided in terms of content? How do you, you know, what's the difference between discrete versus continuous, qualitative versus quantitative, and then the levels of measurement? Then you're also talking about surveys and different ways that we can, um, you know, in collect data and the levels of measurement. I don't know if I mentioned that already. So with that said, I think that one of my, my uh, changes uh, in week two, which I felt week two, I felt like I had been there all, all my life. I felt comfortable. I decided to actually demonstrate um, some techniques using the lab. My one downfall though in week two was I felt that I had feedback um, so I'm in week three going to incorporate the use of uh, my headset, which uh, tunes out pretty much all noise. Even my dogs can bark and it, it will not capture that. It will only capture my voice, which is awesome. So uh, I, I look forward to seeing how that particular recording plays out week three, which is this coming Wednesday. So I'm excited for that. Um, the rest of the week's assignments, um, I again, I want to keep the students, students' attention and I also want to maximize the outcome of what we're doing in the class. So I'm sort of like weaving between lecture information and how to do or how to approach concepts. So uh, since weeks three and four are pretty much merged uh, relative to being about probability, I'm going to merge lectures and um, lecture notes with how to approach, for example, how to use applets as a way to model what we're doing. If I really had more time and I could somehow incorporate this, um, I love using basketball and having simulations with basketball games as uh, one way to show discrete probability. And uh, that's something that unfortunately I can't do because I'm, you know, obviously trying to record this information otherwise. But I can give them a, you know, kind of a, you know, a scenario where I could draw and draw their attention to that. And then um, alter alternative assignments uh, for students who don't attend. Um, I don't, uh, you know, sway from the university's um, intended um, material. So if anything, they could only gain from watching the online live because I'm pretty much assisting them in how to approach um, specific lessons and uh, question types because that's the other thing they need to get used to is the verbiage involving uh, different ways that we approach probability concepts in week three and all the different concepts that we cover from even all the way down to linear regression, which is another uh, element where you can actually use Excel. There's a lot of uh, programs available in Excel and I like to incorporate that into the lesson because it's hands-on 
for those who are in front of me. It's also something that when the student watches the online live, they can see how to approach the question using the technology that's available to them. And that's important because ultimately we want these individuals to take this to their workplace and use this information in the workplace. Uh, and understanding the different uh, potential uses of, the, of these applications is huge in, in managerial positions, especially positions of leadership. So ways to bridge the gap between the online live and on-site to create a more diverse or, or more integrated community um, with respect to, to work. Uh, I mean, most, most students, um, you know, are very good about working in groups. So if I assign a group project or if I get them to discuss things um, and, and just, you know, re respond to a peer, that's always helpful. Um, also, with respect to creating groups to solve problems, that's another way that I like to integrate both. Um, I have been trying or attempting as well to provide them additional videos and support materials to continue to maximize their learning output, which is what I see is an issue with the working student. Um, I myself having been one at one point. I understand when your mind is so preoccupied with so many things that students um, in this case are often and so their focus isn't education per se although they will attend a course here and there I think that their attention is drawn to their families and it's drawn to their to their work and so by creating a variety of uh, modalities where they can I guess uh, absorb the massive uh, or the meat of the lesson. I think that's the way to go, and I think that this is this is not a bad format. This is something that I um, used many years ago. I actually initiated this in an institution that I used to work for, and I was teaching both online and on ground. And I would open up my on ground class and make it a live class for those who were online. So. Um, Although the technology was a little different and a little bit more user friendly relative to space because the space was a little bit more conducive to recording and to having um, active dialogue, um, which is something the university should consider uh, with respect to the room and the setup of the room because that is something that can use a little bit of work, at least where I'm at. Um, so um, anyway, so this is my reflection. Um, and I like, love the curriculum relative to how it's set up. It's very streamlined, uh, very to the point, which again, I, I think the students appreciate. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's my, that's my, my 10 cents. <laughs>